Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how simple it is to do multi-slice rendering using the Dragonfly software. For demonstration, the data I, that I imported here is downloaded from the Digital Rocks portal website. The website is www.digitalrocksportal.org. If you want, you can go register and download it from there. Okay. So the first step for multi-slice rendering, I'm going to paint few slices. Uh, let's say from slice numbers 400 to 1000 every hundredth slice okay so for that go to the segment tab you will see three different panels ROI tools ROI painter and segment with the AI uh, use the ROI tools expand the ROI tools you will see an option called new click on the new button a new window called a new region of interest will pop up okay give a name as you wish i'm going to give here roi and if you want you can change the color and then use the same geometry as the rock data is the data that i use okay and click okay we just created the roi and the next step we are going to paint this roi on our data so I'm going to paint few slices so I'm going to double click and going back to my 2d view uh, what I'm going to do is the first step I'm going to use the rectangle tool okay so click on the rectangle tool you will see a small tool and then make sure you click or hold on the control key okay hold on the control key and uh, before that make sure which slice you wanted to paint so for me first I'm going to use slice 400 I'm going to paint slice 400 you can use the mouse wheel to go up and down on the slices so and then I'm going to hold down the control key and then just paint on the complete slice okay and the next uh, slice I'm going to paint is slice 500 okay so slice number 500 okay go here use the mouse wheel and then use the same thing you hold down the control key and then paint it here and then the next slice I'm going to paint here is the slice number 600 um, okay so 600 okay uh, and then 700 okay now I'm here you can use them just do the same thing and then you can also have other option if you uh, bring the mouse here like cursor here just right click you can set slice and you can just enter the slice that you wanted to go so just press apply it will take and then close the dialogue it will take you directly to the and then you uh, to that particular slice and you can just uh, paint it there same thing 900 then apply close the dialogue and then it will take you directly here okay anyway that this is enough for the demonstration so we've painted few slices and then I'm going back to my other view okay I'm going to okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag uh, dilate okay so I'm going back to my ROI tools use the morphological operation to dilate along X so click on this dilate this will enlarge the boundary regions okay so take few seconds so just I use the kernel size 3 and then uh, with the kernel shape square okay so it's done now and then what I'm going to do is drag some sliders so go here make sure you're in 3d view and go here in ROI and just bring down the highlights down okay ROI and then it, go back to the main tab you will see an option called the global volume opacity under scene view properties again bring down uh, down here you will see boom you have your multi slice rendering but you can uh, use more tools like um, let me use uh, lighting tools okay so let me double click and bring back to 3d view okay and then what I could do is I can 
use my lighting tools where am i okay so go to scene view properties okay use the lighting tool uh, you can use lighting you can deepen shadows you can just drag the sliders and see how beautiful it is so it's such a you can play with these tools to increase the shadows and you can just uh, shadow opacity everything okay so it's such an interesting uh, thing to do you can uh, take a screenshot here on your um, on the screen so you can take screenshot and you can use it for research publications presentations etc okay it's going to be a very useful thing that's it um, thank you for listening